Good afternoon, it's Gary from BidandIron.com coming to you from the Lower Mainland. Today I'm going to show you this 2005 Western Star Tandem Day Cab. It has 706,650 kilometers and 15,951 engine hours. It has a Detroit Diesel Series 60 engine, 435 to 500 horsepower at 2100 RPM. It does have a Jake brake and full lockers. It has an 18 speed Eaton Fuller transmission, RTLO 18918B. The front axle rating is 16,600 pounds on spring suspension, and the rear axle rating is 69,000 pounds on airliner suspension. The rear axle ratio is 4.30, front tires are 385, 65R 22 and a half, and the rear 11R 24 and a half, with aluminum rims all the way around, inside and out. The wheelbase is 265 inches, it has twin fuel tanks, both 95 gallon, and the CVI is valid till August of 2014. It was originally a logging truck, now converted to a tractor hauling belly dumps. We're gonna do a general walk around of the unit. We're gonna come up close for a tight inspection, have some space restrictions, but I will show you as much as I can on the wide view. You can see it has twin exhaust. It's a white color. It has a headache rack. You know the unit is in very good mechanical condition. It's been well kept up. And let's come up tight on the unit here. And as usual, we'll start with the grill. Pretty good condition. And let's check out the bumper. I like to follow that along. And it's nice and level. There's no rust on it. Might have a bend here. Just a slight bend at the top. And let's pan up the driver's side of the unit. Got some beacon lights at the top. stationary lights it looks like let's take a look at the condition of the front of the unit it looks pretty good let's come up behind the air cleaner there are no dents And the steps over the fuel tank are nice and level. And let's take a pan up the cab here. The exhaust housing is nice and straight. And there's no chips or cracks in the mirrors. Let's come to the back of the unit here. Looks like there's beacon lights on the headache rack. Just follow the frame along here. Come up to the hookups. And the access deck is nice and level. We're going to come back and show you the axles two, three, and four. And we're going to come up in between axles two and three. Give you a look at the suspension. And we're over, over axle number three here, coming up to axle four.
and we'll have the tire condition on the pictures. Gonna come up behind the unit. Again, we can get another look at the suspension back here. We're gonna come over the frame. I'm not seeing any leaks. Now on the driver's side of the unit, I'm going to pan back and show you axles 2, 3, and 4 on this side. And I'm going to come up between axle 3 and 4, and we're going to follow the frame along, just like we did on the other side. to the chain rack, just over the fender. The access steps are nice and level. And let's come to the cab here. Steps over first fuel tank are nice and level. Also this exhaust housing is in nice condition, no dents. Body of the cab looks good as well. Let's come up to the hood. We're seeing a little bit of damage here. It's very minor. Air cleaner looks good. Mirrors are in good shape. Let's take a look inside the cab. Come up to the gauges here. Everything's in order. A nice clean panel. I'm going to start up the unit. And we'll take a look at the upholstery here. It does have seat covers, double passenger seat. Everything looks like it's in pretty good condition, nice and clean. So let's take a look under the hood. Another good piece of iron from bitternirons.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.